Hey, come on in, sit. And this video is titled, The Mana from Heaven is Magic Mushrooms, aka Psychedelic Mushrooms. And we're gonna get into it, because this notch has never been brought up before. And yes, magic mushrooms are good for you. And magic mushrooms is something that we're supposed to be consuming to fully open up our pineal gland. Yup, and this is gonna lead to spiritual power, and this is gonna lead to the downfall of Esau. And Esau knows that. That's why magic mushrooms and DMT is so demonized, because Esau knows that it's our power source. M magic mushrooms and DMT for the nation of Israel is like spinach for Popeye. I want to give all the praises and the honor to Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shah, Bahashem, Recha Hakwadash, and double honors to the apostles and the elders of Great Millstone. Shalom also to the elect. So basically, uh, all praises to the Father in the name of the Son and in the name of the Holy Spirit, and double honors to the, uh, the GMS Great Millstone Israelites. You know, people wonder why um, we do videos like this, okay? And I humbly just do my part. Other brothers, you know, they go into the lessons deep and bring out the information and um, expose them on different levels, okay? But we work as a body, as a unit. And if somebody's not there to watch the sheep, the sheep will get, <laughs> will get lost, and start swaying into different directions because sheep are gullible. Okay. Now, when this guy, the uh, something to heaven, I forgot his screen name. Um, what's this guy screen name? Something to heaven. Um, Wrath of heaven. Okay. When this guy brought out this video about manner uh, from heaven is magic mushrooms, <laughs> and he did another video I previously put up that says semen retention something like that will help you get closer to the most high and there was literally literally brothers okay who may have not known any better because they opened up with shalom double honors and that also proves i've been going in videos the last few videos that guys you know there's guys who say double honors and shalom and all they'll say the name of the lord the double honors and they're still not right Okay, and these guys aren't right. And it's our job to watch over the flock and, and uh, bring this information out. You know, I wasn't even going to mess with this video because um, uh, all the brothers have jumped on it already. But I bring another side to it. So through the spirit, you know, and I just wanted to touch on that. You got to watch out for guys like this. You know, this is uh, that hippie trippy doctrine. This 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 man has been too long in the world. You know, this guy, when he does the work that he does, it's in the dark. So you can see this man's spirit is dark. It's not like he does it in the light and then it gets dark. He's got two videos on this channel. He may got other channels where he posts up in the dark by himself. And maybe he didn't get enough recognition. So what happens is these guys, they get caught up in doctrine and they get ahead of themselves. They become overwise. And they start looking at all the other internet sites, Flat Earth and, and all kinds of different doctrines. Soon we're going to be able to fly out of space, you know, on our own, with, we, you know, in our dreams. You know, it's all kinds of crazy doctrines, okay? Now, this, this guy speaks of um, uh, the, the manna from heaven was mushrooms. And basically, from what I understand... He's pushing psychedelic drugs, 
You know, cocaine is from the earth too. Does that mean you manufacture it, mix it up and smoke it or, or shoot it? Heroin too. All the poppy seeds, uh, uh, whatever they call it, um, heroin seeds or whatever. I mean, come on. People take anything and abuse it. People will smoke a orange peel. I've seen that. <laughs> you know, Jake is wickeder than wicked. So if a, if a young man come into the truth and say, okay, it's time to get closer to the most high. He's 13 years old. He's home sitting with his mother. He looks at a video like this. So what is he supposed to do? You're teaching this young 13-year-old, 12, 13-year-old man. Okay, young boy, you know, I say that, you know, but he's a man according to the Bible. But in reality, in this world, he's not. Okay? But you're telling this young man to go smoke, oh, I mean, to go eat some shrooms or whatever it is, man. This is sick. And this guy's, you know, these guys are sick. And it's our job to expose it. That doesn't even make sense. Okay? Ephesians 5 and 15. See then that ye walk circumspectly, not as fools, but as wise. Redeeming the time because the days are evil. We got the, uh, the so-called corona outbreak. We got an uh, economic collapse on the way. We have the mark of the beast on the way. We have all these things happening. And all this guy can talk about is uh, eating some shrooms to get high and, and semen retention. The doctrine being pushed by the elite so you don't have children. Just all kinds of crazy stuff. Meanwhile, the women get to be who they are. This is crazy, man. Let's go to this word circumspectly. I'll make this short. I just wanted to put my one sin in if, if, if it even matters, which I think it does. It says accurately, diligently, okay? Walk diligently. That's what that means, okay? Walk diligently, okay? Wherefore, be ye not unwise, but understanding what the will of the Lord is, okay? What's wrong with you guys, these guys, man? Something is seriously wrong with these guys. See, what happens is, and let's put it on the table, these guys have found a way in, into, into their secret life of lust to do all the things they did and I've always said, if you want to, you could take whatever lust you have and you can incorporate it into the Bible. You don't believe me? Look at Aisha PK. The general Johanna has the lust of anal sex with, with, with his wife. And he got these men that he pulls out of prison. That's ironic. <laughs> and because they may be stuck in their mind to, to feed into that uh, lustful work, he somehow finds a scripture <laughs> The justified. And this is the trickiness about the scriptures. Another thing is that the scriptures are tricky. Because they work on both both hand sides. You know? Even Satan know the truth. You know? <laughs> Come on, man. So the scriptures are tricky. So they'll trick you, you know? That's crazy. Let's go to Romans. <laughs> Again, you can make up anything you want according to the to the Bible. Just find the scripture, twist it, make it suitable. And you know the sick part about it? There's all kind of people on there. Con, thanks. You know? Well, not brothers, but there was people in general. But what was bothersome, it was actually brothers on there. And they looked at that and said, wow, they just took it. So that's why a lot of, a lot of you brothers... You got to be spiritual and you got to get uh, uh, validated. You got to get brothers that's validated. Don't don't start j jumping all over to YouTube. You know, you get a couple of brothers that you get the truth from and the spirit go with you. That's where you stay. See something new. You listen. Don't sound right. If you got to ask another brother, this dude, this brother don't sound right. Is, is that right? Is that sound doctrine? Circumspect. OK, Romans 10 and 3. For they being ignorant of Yahweh's righteousness and going about to establish their own righteousness. See, it wasn't good, good enough. And why do you whack jobs keep claiming uh, great millstone? I, you know, they know where the truth is. So they try to come and infiltrate it. See, these are the COVIDs, you know. <laughs> these are the true COVID-19s, COVID man. 
they're the viruses <laughs> that put up GMS and put up all the names. And all, the whole time, they're a virus trying to seek, you know, like the, 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 um, the devil seeking like a roaring lion. That's what these viruses do. And they attack. And it's spiritual that we're in a time of viruses and plagues. And that's what these guys are. They're viruses. Okay? Have not submitted themselves unto the righteousness of Yahweh, which is the order. You got to submit yourself. These guys ain't submit themselves. They're just establishing their own righteousness, man. They're just establishing their own. They're making their own doctrine. So why do we do this, man? Why do we do this? For that reason. Can you imagine if none of the brothers stepped up? None of the brothers caught it and caught that wind of doctrine. And you know what happens with a virus? Okay. Ground zero virus. That one person get it, then it goes to the other person, and it don't take long for a virus to spread. This guy just put that virus out there, uh, 30, 50 people on the comment boards. If 10 people get the virus, guess what? That virus goes out to other brothers, and that spreads to other brothers and families. You know how fast a virus can spread? And that's why we have to nip you know, the, the the body, the immune system of this body, we have to attack that virus and stop it from destroying from inside out, okay? This is just another way the Most High is keeping us up on our toes, you know? And uh, I love it. it. gives me something to do. I love doing the work, you know, by the Lord's will. Uh, Romans 16 and 17, Now I beseech you, brethren, mark them, which means scopeo, Scope them. Ain't the same mark. Mark them which cause divisions and offenses. This is an offense. Contrary to the doctrine which ye may have learned. Avoid them. Now we do know, you know, in the ancient times when a man was on his last breath, in his last hour, he got strong drink or whatever. This guy's just blatantly just saying, you know what, to get closer to the most high? Just get high. I mean, is this 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 is so it's so sick that the laws of Esau don't even condone that. Although on the left hand wicked side, he pushes it out there for everybody to do, but under under the court system, under the law, he doesn't even condone that. And he's the wicked. So we can see that uh there's guys that are more wicked than the wicked. Uh, Jeremiah 5 and 28. They surpass the deeds of the wicked. That's all I have on that. Shalom.